Hello my lovely friends, my name is Rue. How do you do? <laughs> I'm doing a trigger video today. I know that's terribly unexpected. Um, <laughs> but I'm just gonna tap on notepads, notebooks, stationary items. I don't know. Don't judge me. <laughs> um, the first one I have is this little of note paper that is a, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a little yarn ball. <laughs> and I don't really use these because I don't, like they're not a sticky note. If they were a sticky note, I would probably use them more, but like I don't know what to do with a tiny little piece of paper <laughs> that doesn't stick. Um, but this is cute. And it makes good tapi sounds. <laughs> Y'all, I've been in a good mood this week. Like, it's probably because it's warm outside and it's been very sunny. Which, like, it's raining today, but that's fine. And like everything's green and happy and <laughs> you know what's funny? Like every year when like stuff starts turning green and pretty and wonderful again, it's like brand new to me. Like I'm like, oh my god, I've never seen this in my life. It's beautiful. Wow. Because, like, when you're in winter, it just feels like that's going to be forever. And you, you like, can't imagine a different <laughs> circumstance. And then spring comes and it's like, wow, <laughs> this is amazing. Oh my gosh. And it, like, also reminds me of, like, how difficult <laughs> winter is for me. Because I, I made a very concerted effort, concerted, is that the right word? I don't know. But I made a, a big effort to attempt to enjoy winter this year, and I did a really good job, I think, um, because <laughs> I usually get the seasonal, you know, depression or whatever. Um, so cute, love it. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I decided I wasn't gonna hate winter. I was gonna love it. I was gonna enjoy it. And like, I leaned into all the little things that I like about winter. Like, you know, the cozy blankets and the, uh, candles. Um, the, like, just being chill, <laughs> not being productive, like, all that good stuff. And I did a really good job. Like, that being said, it was a very mild winter, so I don't know if it was a very good test, but I did really good. Really, really good. And it's just so apparent to me when the weather starts to warm up how much easier it is to be happy and joyful in the warm, sunny weather compared to winter. Um, cause like, I can be, I can be happy in the winter, you know, I can do that, it's possible, but it is work, it is, I have to put effort into it, you know, but like in summer, spring, whatever, I'm just like naturally happy, upbeat, and just like, I don't even have to try. <laughs> I should probably switch, right? Okay, I have this like itty bitty little notebook that I think is so cute. <laughs> um, what was I talking about? Yeah, like so, as soon as the weather starts to warm up and like you get the first day where you can like sit outside with like a t-shirt and you have like the warm sun on your skin, I'm like, wow, it is so much easier to be alive. <laughs> 
Does anyone else feel that way? Um, I was like ta talking to my fiance about this and I was like, do you feel like it's more difficult in the winter or do, are you just like literally not affected? And he said, like, he's not affected by it, which is like so wild to me. And I guess that's why they have seasonal affective disorder as like a thing, because I guess not everyone feels that way. Um, but it's just, it's just so interesting to me. It's just like, wow, your brain functions well in the winter? How? <laughs> what? But wow, I am like, it's so interesting. I feel like I've said that like five times. But... <laughs> It is interesting to me um, that like as soon as the days started getting longer and like sunnier and brighter, my energy levels like go up like so much. And um, it's like been a while since I felt that way because I was in burnout for like the past, you know, two years or whatever. So like obviously <laughs> I didn't have any energy um, to do that. So, but now I'm like sort of normalizing and like I'm going back to my <laughs> non-burnout self um, and the energy levels are <laughs> so wonderful because like in prior years um, during the summer like I think I honestly like exhaust my fiance because I'm like I just want to go 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 and do all these things and like we'll go for like a really long hike you know, in the morning, and then in the evening, I'm like, I want to go for a bike ride. <laughs> and he's like, you're insane. <laughs> but I just, in the summer, I'm just like, that is like my time to shine. Like, I am the most functional version of myself when it's warm and sunny. <laughs> and I, I feel that's normal. Like, I don't want to say normal, because, like, obviously not everyone gets that hyped. Um, but, you know, like, animals in the winter just want to sleep and, like, eat and, um, you know, conserve their energy. And then in the summer, they're going around, you know, doing animal stuff, and they're much more active, and so, so I feel like it's normal, um, as an animal, which I am. Um, to just feel super lazy and unproductive in the winter, and then in the summer, I'm like, <laughs> Let's go, baby. Um, but I love it because, like I said, I haven't felt this way in a few years, and I'm like remembering <laughs> how good it is, like, and how much I can get done because, like, I don't know what it is about it, but like, when I when I am in the summer, I am like so productive, like, just, I want to do all the things, you know, like, hike, like, not just active things either, like, I'll be super into my crafts, like, when I'm at home, I'll be, like, doing a craft or, like, something that is, <laughs> I don't know, productive, but, like, I love it, because I just get so much more done when it's warm and sunny, I, it just, like, energizes me. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm excited for this summer because I feel like, you know, this is the first year since my burnout where I'm, like, normalizing a little, um, because, whoa, it takes a long time to recover from burnout, you guys. So, if you're in that process, like, you're doing great. It's an incredibly slow, annoying process. <laughs> and it's not linear. Because I still have hard days. Oh my god, I need to switch triggers. I'm like rambling like a mad person. Okay. Okay. I have a cat. Um... What do you call this? <laughs> Notepad. 
soft, it's meowy and bright. <laughs> um, what was I talking about? Burnout. I'm sorry if you're not a fan of the rambles because of this. It's becoming a rambling video. But, um, I'm just like, uh, I don't know, like, it's like I want to, um, having gone through burnout and like sort of almost made it to the other side kind of thing, I want to like encourage people who are still in the midst of it. Like it does get better. It doesn't feel like it's going to get better. Like it feels like you're just going to be like a zombie forever. But like if you just keep attempting to step forward and like let yourself relax <laughs> and like take care of your body, it does get better eventually. It genuinely takes so long. There's not a quick fix, especially if you've been in it for years and that sucks. I know it sucks. But I am here to tell you, you can get to the other side because I am in the beginning stages of like getting to the other side. <laughs> I should make a whole video about, like, burnout recovery, honestly. Because I feel like I didn't want to, like, when my channel was newer, I was still very much in, in burnout, you know? And I didn't feel like I had a good grasp on it or any sort of knowledge that I could share with you guys because I still felt like it was endless. But now that I'm, like, seeing the other side, maybe I'll eventually make a video about it. Because I feel like I have more answers now. Like, I have more knowledge that I could, um, tell you guys. should switch. <laughs> Let's do a notebook. <laughs> this is my, uh, what do I want to call it? My health symptom journal. Because, <laughs> um, if you are new here, I had some health problems last year, starting in July, and they were very weird and scary, and so I wanted to write them down and, like, you know, record when they're happening and blah blah blah. So yeah, <laughs> I got a notebook for that. Um, but, like, I haven't written anything really, like, I wrote something down last week, but it wasn't, like, super relevant to what I was experiencing, but I felt it was, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say, like, I felt I should take note of it, but I haven't had any, like, big symptoms since, like, January, so, like, And like the last like really, really intense symptoms I had were like October last year. So, I mean that's good. <laughs> I still don't like have any answers, but or like definitive answers. I have an idea of what's happening, but no uh, proof for diagnoses. <laughs> but it's fine. I'm enjoying being healthy, and you know if it flares up again, then deal with it then. For now, just enjoying being a healthy individual. <laughs> but yeah, if you have like, um, health issues, like having a journal of your symptoms is super helpful. And like, maybe can like, help you notice patterns or, um, 
or just remember what happened because to be honest like I will read through some of these old entries and I'm like oh I don't remember that that's weird um so this is a good idea especially like if your doctors don't really listen to you which I feel like is a common thing um I had a good doctor or like I the like specialist I went to was one of the better doctors I've been to like I felt like she actually listened <laughs> and like trusted my gut <laughs> but like the original doctor I went to which like to be fair it was like a teaching hospital so these were like probably brand new doctors who were um talking to me <laughs> and I like come in there with these like weird symptoms and they're like oh. <laughs> but um that was not a good experience for me and <laughs> and then like the the icing on the cake of misery was okay like I feel horrible and I'm like super stressed because I have to go to the doctor's appointments um and then I'm like waiting to hear back from this specialist that I'm supposed to be referred to and I get a call from a podiatrist's office which is not at all related to the area that is causing me problems and I'm like what? you referred me to the wrong doctor? so I had to like call the doctor's office and be like hey you're there they were supposed to refer me to this doctor, but I got a call from this doctor instead. Like, what's going on? Like, <laughs> but it got sorted out and I saw all the specialists and, but I was like, really? <laughs> Come on. Um, cause I was like really not well and like dealing with all these doctors and like phone calls and stuff, which is not my... Like, it's not something I'm particularly good at anyways, and like causes me stress. And so I'm like dealing with all of this health stuff and also very stressed by this doctor stuff. And it was just like, so bad. <laughs> but everything's good at the moment. This is a weird video with a lot of weird rambles. I'm, <laughs> I hope you're enjoying. Apologies if the camera angle changed. I had to switch out my battery. Oh. I'm gonna tap on my journal next. Which has a nice texture to it. Um, I've been really good about journaling lately. I'll do it like in the morning after after breakfast and after I write my little to-do lists for the day and I really like it like if you don't have a journal like a physical journal I would suggest it like there's something very cathartic about physically writing because I just don't feel like we do a lot of that these days because we have phones and computers and that's like something I was thinking about in 2020 um, I was like, wow, I never write. That's when I started journaling, um, and like writing physical lists. And there's just something about writing that just feels good. I'm not really someone who likes to keep, um, important stuff on my phone and computer anyways, because I will straight up ignore them. <laughs> I like to have something like physically in front of me. And I also just don't like to stare at screens because it just doesn't feel very good. Um, so yeah. It's really, really good. Cathartic. Like even if you're just writing a list, like a gratitude list every day or I don't know, whatever you want to do. <laughs> 
been super interesting. What the heck? How did, why did I say super like that? Okay. It's super interesting to look back on my journal entries from the past few years because they were utterly depressing. <laughs> um, and like this journal, um, which I started, when did I start this? January 29th of 2022, so last year, um, has had a lot more positive things in it. Like, I feel like it probably started out a little negative, but like, there's a lot of positive, positivity in here. And it's, it's nice to see that difference. Um, it's also super interesting for me to read those entries from 2020, 2021 or whatever. And just like see where my headspace was and like because I forget a lot of stuff <laughs> and I'm just like wow I'm so proud of you past you past me because <laughs> like I was really unwell <laughs> and I got through it and I'm here now so I am proud of myself and I wish I could make it better for past me because I it was really bad um and I wish I could tell them that like it's gonna be okay it is gonna get better because honestly like when you're feeling that way for so so long first of all you forget what it feels like to be well <laughs> like to be happy to be to feel emotions um Sorry, this is such a, like a deep video, <laughs> but um, you forget all that. Like you forget what it feels like to be okay, and you're like, this is gonna be my forever, and I'm broken, and like I don't know, I don't remember what it feels like to be happy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is a little dark. Um, but then it's like the for the first time you feel joy and like the, the thing that got me like and that was like so exciting I'm gonna change triggers <laughs> the notepad and has stuff on the back so I'm not gonna show you um, <laughs> but the thing the thing that was most exciting to me as I was recovering was feeling relaxed and content and like not having a million thoughts in my head, I, w I could just sit and be and not feel panicked and that was such a foreign feeling to me when it first started happening again, I I don't know, you just feel so relieved, also a little scared <laughs> that it's not gonna be forever um, but that was like it's not even, it's not even joy, happiness, it's feeling relaxed. Because, <laughs> um, for me, when I was in burnout, like, my nervous system was constantly in fight or flight. Like, I'm not joking. <laughs> I always felt panicked and stressed. And I think that's why I couldn't feel anything else because your body's just like, this is the only thing that you need to pay attention to. Like, you're in danger. You need to run, you know? So, I think it was like October of last year, 2022, when I started to have these moments where I'm like, I'm okay. I feel okay. And I'm kind of happy. And it like slowly builds. <laughs> it's just weird. And like since then, I feel like it's it's a lot easier. Like once you get over that hump, like it gets easier. Cause you have moments where you're okay and relaxed. And you can start like adding things to your life that will continue to help and it just kind of like snowballs, you know? So, like, yeah. I wasn't expecting this to be such a deep video, but I hope you, um, enjoy the rambles. 
this is my um, long-term to-do list, which I recently created because if you watch my executive functioning video, you know I have a daily list and I have like a weekly list of like big things and I was putting these sort of long-term stuff on there <laughs> but then I was like overwhelmed that they were on the weekly list so these are like my big like don't necessarily need to be done that week items but need to be done eventually <laughs> I have a lot of lists I like lists stuff I was gonna tap on but I like got so consumed by rambling that I forgot to switch triggers but I feel like I should just end the video because it's a little long maybe or it's I've, I've filmed long enough <laughs> so anyways thanks for being here thanks for hanging out thanks for listening to the oddly deep rants <laughs> I what it wasn't my intention whatever <laughs> I don't even know what I'm going to title this video so anyways I love you guys thanks for being here and I will see you in my next video